Good day everyone, it's Max, and welcome to another Final Fantasy VII tutorial playthrough! And that's right, today is skill 3 day! What skill do we want? We want to get beta day! So, of course, in the last episodes, we had proceeded to get both uh, the level 4 suicide skill on our enemy uh, magic, and of course we also got the true buckle skill, uh, but now we want the beta skill, and uh, of course the reason we want that skill is because it's a fire potion uh, which does a thousand damage, and right now that's a huge spell for almost no, no, uh, no use whatsoever. Uh, now, in this particular case, these guys are a little slow for what I want them to do. Uh, so we're just going to actually speed this up a little bit because uh, I'd rather have some other enemies attack us than these guys because they're just too slow. Now, in this particular case, what we're doing is... It's not like I like getting into fights and just standing there and looking silly. But I actually need these guys to fill up their limit bars really, really fast. And uh, so to do that, how about we assist them? So when I was back in town, I bought them some hypers. One thing about hyper is, is that their limit bars will fill up twice as fast. So that's the first thing we want to do. We want to fill up them. Uh, we want to fill up them limit bars as much as we can. Ah, uh, these guys should do a pretty good job of it. Basically, we're just defending away here while I'm letting them pick away, right? Yes, I know. It's tough. But this has to be done. We need these limit bars to be totally full for this attack. Alright, now that was slightly painful, I know, but <laughs> in this particular case, it had to happen. Um, we needed the, uh, we needed the level breaks to be ready to go, because, uh, we're gonna need it. Well, I did not expect that to miss. There we go. So, part one completed. The limit break is ready to go. All right, part two. Part two is, <laughs> now I'm gonna switch them all around. and make them all sad. Yes, I am. And since we're not using magic, or er, we're not gonna use any physical attacks at the moment because we definitely, definitely don't wanna use these limit breaks, we're actually gonna put them in the back. Now remember, all three of them now cannot use their physical attacks except for limit breaks. So by putting them in the back row, the only thing we can use now is magic. But that's okay. Next, I've already done this with each character, but 
with Cloud, what I've done is I have given him elemental fire on the armor. And the other thing I have done is, of course, he is carrying our enemy skill material. Alright. The other two are set up the exact same way. Alright. They're all they're both of them are carrying all ice. We have each of them with a sense materia and a restore. Alright. And just to prove that, all ice with a sense and a restore. Okay, let's review. I've put the fire elemental in my armor, okay? I have put the talisman as part of my accessory. I have put everybody's limit bar at full strength. Then I made them all sad and moved them all to the back row. The other two characters have both got poison sense and all ice all right here I'm going to use a tent so we're ready to go I'm going to save my game here and then we're gonna get ready to dive in This is going to be a really tough fight. All right, so. Oh, and one more thing, which I'll probably have to save again for. Um, if you haven't moved your items around, we need to move these gravity balls to the top. Very important. I'll save again. Okay, here we go. Now, this may take three or four tries to get this right, which is why we have stopped here to save our progress. With that, let's go get him. Standing in the marsh, you just gotta walk around. Here he comes. Now this creature has 4,000 hit points, so the first thing we want to do is the first two people are going to throw gravity balls at them, and the third person is going to try and poison the snake. Notice the first gravity ball does a thousand point damage. He doesn't look too happy about that. The second gravity ball does 750. He's almost half dead already. The poison doesn't stick though, so we gotta try again. I meanwhile get to take a small break and hope this works out. Still no poison. Okay, so Barrett's been knocked out of action, but that is to be expected. Remember, we expected one of these guys to get knocked out. That's why I set the two of them up exactly the same. Whew. 
should have held off on her limit break, though. I just healed them. This basically gives the snake a free attack. We still have no bio. So we've got to try and keep hitting it. Here comes the beta. Now, I would have cast that cure on myself anyway, but now comes the limit break. Now I'm going to hit this guy with everything we got, and let's just hope we get to kill him first before he kills me. Tense. And if we even get a shot, I just might try to bring Ares back. Ah, excellent. A miss means I'm going to get to bring her back into the game. She'd live there for a second. That's all right. He's not getting any further. Well, we'll try it again. Sometimes you gotta try it two or three times. If she lives, she gets the experience. He'll get to do it this time. She, now back in the game, can actually use her sense materia to see how close he is to dead. Meanwhile, I will now continue my attacks. You know what? Take that! Say goodbye to the nice little snake. You are a winner of beta! So me bringing her back was not necessary. I brought her back for the experience points. Uh, but I, as soon as I would learned beta, you should cast it back right at him, and that automatically will finish your deal. I just wanted to be fussy and make sure she was alive. That's my doing. With that, of course, we're going to save. Alright, now we can actually fix ourselves up. Cure ourselves of all these problems. And now I'm actually going to head on back to Calm one more time, save my game there, and actually stay at the inn. Now, I'll bring you back when we're ready to actually catch ourselves a Tukubu, because uh, I'll have to buy another green from uh, Billy, Bo Billy Joe Bo there at the uh, firm. And, uh, of course, we'll have to catch ourselves a Tukubu to actually run across this time, because as much as I like fighting that guy, I don't like fighting him twice. When I don't have to at this early stage. All right, we've returned back to the farm, and Billy's gonna make some money off us because <laughs> we gotta pick up some more stuff. So, 
of course when we were here the first time we had to get that mimic green because the mimic green is the only green that allows us to take a shot to get the true buckle now in this particular case we don't want mimic greens because as it turns out those greens only allow for a one turn attack before the <laughs> before it, it flies away all right um, but now we will actually want to buy curial greens because you can actually do five attacks not on the chukabu though you can do five attacks with this green before it will fly away and if you haven't killed your enemies within five attacks then you know there's no helping you right so we'll uh we'll uh well we should only need actually we'll buy two but really i probably only need one the other thing i want to do here is is i had changed the um materia set up a little bit so notice uh my fire has matured it now has two stars that means uh we can do fire two but since we're going to be trying to catch chukaboos i actually don't want to be burning groups because i have my all fire i have all fire attached together which is great for burning large groups but i actually don't want to do that at the moment and because this is my stronger, uh, my stronger one, I'll probably put the fire down here. Uh, we'll do an all, let's just do an all ice, and we'll take the fire and actually just put the poison there for now. Now, same with her. My lightning has matured. It can now do bolt two, which is a much stronger lightning, but again, we're trying to catch two boos and I can't attack all items, right? So in this particular case, we'll just put the lightning down here and oh, I don't know. Let's see, what do we got kicking around down here? Oh, we definitely need this. Now, it's a pretty bad attack, but we do need that because we got to have a lore here. Someone's got to carry it. All right, let's hit the road, Jack. All right, just one more thing on chains. All right, so we're gonna walk down here. I always like to keep checking every once in a while just to make sure that I'm not missing that free lure, right? likes to pop out at different times and you just never know. We'll get plenty of chances to get it here later on though, so let's just move on. We gotta get through the mines before the end of the episode. Yeah, booty 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 booty. Let's go. Okay. First thing you're going to do, pull out your greens. All right. And where did it put my greens at? Oh, it's put them all the way down at the bottom. So in this case, I will save you the headache. And this is actually a good lesson to learn. Whenever you're going to need to use an item, make sure it's at the top of the list. Make sure you go to Arrange, Customize. Now the Gravity Balls we don't need anymore. But I definitely need these greens. Just like that. That now puts them at the top of the list. Now let's see if we can't catch just that Chukabu. Or Chocobo. 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 A debate for later. Level 16 if I didn't have level 4 suicide already. Uh, we want the item. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There. Munch up. Oh, 
Oh yeah, he all happy, isn't he? That's how it's done. Free riding for everybody. All right. Well, we don't want to push the cancel button because that's bad. Now, the nice part about this is that when you're on Tugaboo, that big old snake just can't get you. Yeah, whatever chase after me all you want snake <laughs> so we have now made it over to the other side I'll let him go just pushing cancel lets him off now for the mines So it took three of us to beat that snake. He did it. Pfft. No problem. Yeah, we gotta go, by the way. We haven't got time to stand here. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty strong. Whatever. Yes, our enemy can do that. But we haven't got time to look at the pretty snake. We gotta keep walking. Alright. Finally made it into the mines. I thought all these folks will never get here. <laughs> now. Here's where we're going to hunt around for a few items. And sure enough, uh, my eyes are so bad all the time. Let's go to this way first. All right. Ooh, you all look really bad. Now, really, I shouldn't be messing around with these guys this much. Um, and I should be taking my own advice here. The Mantra Magic. Oh, thank you very much. I needed the skill. Uh, the Mantra Magic, in this particular case, uh, would have taken them all out. But that's what I was hoping for, is that Mr. Flamethrower guy was going to flamethrower me. And sure enough... Oh, and a free phoenix down. Thank you, sir. All right. That's what I like. Free is good. Nothing like $750 worth of ether. And a free tent. Now, I've actually got 15 tents already. So, I didn't actually need that tent. But, in fact, 15 tents is probably all of you ever use in the game, but... This is important. This now gives the rest of us who don't have long range weapons the ability to sit in the back row and attack at long range as long as we're wearing that. But now that we've got that, let's now head back the other way. All right. And, uh, yeah, down here. Oh, we definitely want to steal from these guys. Yip, yip. Oh, he's going to be tough, is he? That's all right. We'll do a fire two on one of them. There 
you go. We want to steal from this other one. I think there's a little bit of a bug there. I think she actually thinks she's not doing well. Uh, she's definitely okay. We'll do a healing wind anyway. Ah, uh, I think she's been poisoned. Let's see if we can't fix that a little bit. Yeah, we'll fix that. Oh, uh, he's gonna play hard to get, but he's got to give it to me. There's what we're looking for, the Grand Glove. Now, of course, what that does is that's a weapon for Tifa, and it's much better than a weapon than what she's got now. Done like dinner. I'm going to fix their magic again, by the way. Free mind source now to actually fix this magic up. Um, now it's funny because now the ice is actually good as good as the fire. Um, so we'll definitely want to carry both around. Okay, we probably don't need the sense materia either installed on both. I don't think I'm carrying poison, so that's a good deal. Alright, I'll fix them up a little bit. Oops, wrong turn. Oop, wrong turn. when you make them wrong turns. Oh. What do we got here? Just a second. Mr. Rude himself. Well, aren't you rude? Yeah, I know who you are. Well, if you know, this won't take long. It's difficult to explain what we do. I already know what you do, dude. You're scum. To put it negatively. Oh, I didn't know there was a positive way to say, uh, you know, kidnapping. Ruth's not a big talker. Elena, though, she loves to talk.
Well, aren't you happy? I was glad I could beat the... It's not right out of them for you. <laughs> oh my. To sing. Yeah, she talks too much. Yeah, go file your report. Yes, thanks for telling me he's headed for Duron Hell. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot for telling me that. So, <laughs> isn't that just convenient for him to just tell me that information? I like that. Oh, Reno says he wants to see me after his injuries are healed. Well, good for him. Oh, well, very good. I'll be sure to hook up with him. <laughs> yeah, should be grateful. No. Well, stay out of your way. You know what? We'll probably do that shortly. You guys get a little bit of a head start. I have to come up here and pick this up, though. Because I like elixirs. And I like high potions. And that is it for the Mythical Mines. Saves a few attacks here. Now, as it turns out, this is actually a kind of good training ground for, uh, for Ares to actually hang out in. Just to point out. Climb for us. And with that, we are through the mountain and a little lost. So let's have a look. So there's our blinking dot, and we have a blinking dot just below us. And uh, so maybe we'll just make our way down here to see what's going on. Oh, yes, look at this. This is a good time to stop. Uh, with that, before we go into this location, this is Max, thanks for watching and commenting, and I'll see you on the next one.